Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, of course, the Western Cape, as we all know, is so synonymous with a diversity of natural history and beauty, and of course, as a rich culture as well, and also beautiful craft and design. And with that in mind, a free to the public event that explores the craft and design heritage of the Western Cape, as well as showcasing over 170 designers and producers from right across the province, is taking place from tomorrow until Sunday. Now, it's called Make It New, and with us in the studio to give us a taste of what we can expect there, Erica Alk from the Cape, uh, Cape Craft and Design Institute and two fabulously featured designers at the, uh, the, the exhibition itself, Catherine Mary Pitchlick and Andile Galvan. And good morning, good to have you here with us. Great to be here. Erica, I'm going to start off with you first. Tell me about what we can expect. This is all very, very exciting. It's very exciting. We can't wait to see the exhibition ourselves. Mm. Um, so it's 170 products, objects, things of beauty um, from designers and makers in the Western Cape yeah. um, celebrating design through the ages, uh, from the beginning of time, from the, the Blombos Caves, um, all the way to the most contemporary objects being produced today. Fantastic. And of course, by fabulous designers and crafters too, including yourself, Catherine, uh, Mary, you're, you're going to be there. And I understand that you first started off in jewellery, but then you moved on to art. I mean, you've designed a, a, hang, a wall piece, is it? Yes. Tell me a bit more about that. Um, well, for the Make It New exhibition, I decided to kind of challenge myself. Mm -hmm. And as opposed to primarily just doing ornamentation, I decided to create a wall piece, but using the same sensibilities and kind of design aesthetic. Yes. And Andy, as I understand, you are a ceramic artist, That's right? Correct. And uh, tell me about some of the, the pieces that you have in your collection and what inspires your work? Well, my work is very much inspired by sort of like, you know, African artifacts, mm -hmm. especially South African art artifacts. Um, the piece, one piece that I'm exhibiting is basically like a reinterpretation of a traditional beer pot. In okay. Mind, yes? yes. But in my, then how the way that I've done, for instance, it's... it's um, that's it over there. That's correct. So ideally you will, you, will, you will have it round and in my case, because of my immediate environment, so I've transformed into more angular and sort of like, you know, fine incision, like inspired by the body scarification of Kachul. Yes. So for me, I didn't create anything specifically for the show, but just selected because it was fitting the show. So I think that was an honor for me to have been selected to be part of the show. Beautiful And then the, the other piece will be the, inspired by the Dolosaur. You know the Dolosaur? Yes, the yes. Breaker, I'm a or, tambo, I'm yeah. a tambo, yeah. And also the, the, the animal vertebra, because where I come from in the Eastern Cape, so I used to collect a lot of these bones and create sort of like these sculptures. So this basically reinterpretation of my upbringing and looking back at, you know, my cultural background in a sense. Yeah. So that's basically what I'm showcasing. I want to ask you this. So as, as a child or maybe as a youngster going around collect, collecting all these bones, what is it that kind of said to you, you, you want to do this one day, you want to be an artist, you want to take the environment around you and interpret it into these beautiful shapes that one day will inspire people and, you know, create beauty in their homes? Yeah, it started really like as a, you know, like a being boys like in the, in, the, in, the, in the countryside, like looking after the livestock. Yes. So childhood, childhood games where we just pick up clay and make clay animals or objects. But the thing is, is that at the time we didn't know anything about, you know, making it permanent, like the technolo technology of yes, yes, yes. making it permanent. So, well, I just always loved drawing. And then when I moved to Cape Town, I was introduced to an art school. And um, then I was like, uh, ceramics was a, uh, an obvious choice because it reminded me of my childhood. Yes. And they started and never looked back. And Catherine, Mary, what about your story? How did you get into this? Um, I trained, I went to Michaela School of Fine Art. Um, part of UCT yes. and then I also trained as a pastry chef um, and then I worked what? in London working in a bakery and also doing an internship at an art magazine uh -huh. called Art Review and then I backpacked through Spain and through India and working on organic farms and I started to pick up a trousseau of objects and kind of religious beads and bones and started to wrap them and do different kind of techniques yes. on long 36 hour train rides okay. um, and then I'd say that's the initial emergence of Pishlik as a jewelry brand and then I came back to South Africa, was hustling, trying to make money, mm -hmm. started a catering company, worked in the film industry. Goodness. Um, and then I started making them and I made some, people would buy them off my neck, um, <laughs> literally. It's not an invasion of privacy at all. <laughs> you sure. know, but I sold them for really cheap back in the day. And that was about two years ago. And then finally, um, I, my friend photographed them. They went onto a well-known blog called Miss Moss. Uh -huh. And then I was asked to accessorize Lalesso's Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Fantastic. 2012. Wow, what a journey that you both have traveled in. Amazing <laughs> to see where you are right now. And finally, Erica, um, we want people to come and see this. And if I'm right, it is a free to the public event mm -hmm. that starts off uh, uh, tomorrow. Where can people find it? Where can they come and observe this beautiful art? So it's at the Cape Town Stadium. Okay. Um, on the third floor of the, of the visitor's block. Yes. Um, it's going to be very well signposted. Open mm -hmm. 10 o'clock till 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
um, tomorrow until Sunday. Fantastic stuff. Well, thank you very, very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. So go check it out the 15th to the 19th of October at the Cape Town Stadium. It's called the Make It New Exhibition. Let's go over there and support our local artists. Well, right now, Ilona, where are you going to be tomorrow?